Hey guys, my name is Wisdom Agbolomo. You're watching Lighthouse Pavilion TV. We overcame the devil by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. That is, if you are going to see victory, if you are going to see consistent liberation, you must learn to use the blood. You must learn to live in the blood. Listen to this. <laughs> the devil can see the blood and no bow. The blood of Jesus has the capacity to go to your foundation, even to your fifth generation, to reverse what has been destroyed. Now, how do I use the blood? You plead the blood, you drink the blood, and you sprinkle the blood. Remember when God needed to destroy, carry out vengeance in Egypt. That was the prescription he gave to them. He said, tell all of them to put the blood on their lintel. Uh, tonight, as the angel of death passes by, when they see the blood, they shall do what? Pass over. That is... You can destroy generational spare by the blood. That's the number one weapon. Breaking generational spare through the weapon of the blood. I want you to understand something about blood. Everyone alive is alive by blood. Is alive by what? The highest form of covenant is the blood covenant. Is the blood covenant. That's why you see some young girl out of ignorance, goes to the extent of entering blood covenant with a young man. And after they now went to marry somebody, the blood will be haunting them. The highest form of covenant is the blood, and you destroy the highest level of devils by the blood. That is when you wake up and say, the blood of Jesus, something happens, you don't need to feel it, you don't need to see it, just say it. The very life of Christ is in the blood. That is, you learn to use the blood. Learn to see. When you sense and you see some habit that is not of God, duplicate and plain in your life, stop it by the blood of Jesus. That is why it, is, it, is, it should be part of your practice as a Christian to always take communion. See, this one that is a communion is for some set of people. is a lie. Communion is for every born again child of God. I have seen communion cure any kind of disease. If you dream now, and the dream is not favorable to you, just take communion. It neutralizes the dream. Neutralizes what? The dream. You dream now, and it's, you don't like it. You don't need to pray much. Just say, Father, in the name of God, by this communion, I neutralize anything the devil has. He won't have power over you again. Because the devil can't see the blood and still resist. The blood is God's last card. When God introduced the blood, Pharaoh released them to go. Somebody tonight, that blood will work for you. Amen. I thought you say louder, amen. amen. Somebody shout the blood. blood. Say louder. Blood. That is, the blood of Jesus is the number one weapon. Two, is the weapon of revelation. That is the truth. The weapon of revelation. Our ignorance empowered the devil to function. I want you to know this now. Your ignorance empowered the devil to torment you. He said, they that know their God, they shall be what? They shall be, they shall be strong and they shall do a exploit. Ignorance is the greatest enemy of your life. What you don't know is bigger than you. That is, taking time to learn is the wisest thing you can do. He said, a man of knowledge, a man of wisdom is strong, and a man of knowledge increases strength. 
The more you know, the stronger you become. Knowledge about what? One. Knowledge about your family. Knowledge about your family. See, there are a lot of people that don't know anything about their family, where they are coming from. They don't. They don't ask questions. They don't observe. They don't make research. The family you are, you are born into now, what is, what is it that is common with everyone? Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. What you don't know, you can't stop. Is that clear to someone? What you don't know, you can't what? You can't stop. Check your life. You find out that what is what you are battling with. Your sister is battling with it, but it's just that she, she is shy. She can't tell you. Some family, all the boys, they masturbate. Some family, all the ladies, they must marry a man that has married before. Now, how do you deal with that? You deal with that with correct knowledge about the family you are in and the knowledge about God and his word. God and what? I didn't hear that. God and his what? Talk to me, class. God and what? Okay, hold on. You have discovered that this is what is peculiar with my family. Three. Family line. Can I say something? You don't need to do anything wrong to repeat family errors. You don't need to do anything wrong. But you can do something to stop it. Hello? You can do something to what? To stop it. There are some families, uh, the, the ladies loses their husband on time. You can stop it. You say, never, I can't repeat itself. And sometimes, how you discover these things, you don't look too far. Check your mother's life. Check your mother. I was telling someone this morning, I said, by God's standard, you should be an improvement of your father. You should be an improvement of who? I'm an improvement of my father. Correct improvement. I don't just want to be an improvement. I want to get to a point that when they say this is the son of this man, people will shout, Jesus. That, will be made, that, that statement will be made concerning you. Amen. But it's a decision. Decision to know all things about the family you are coming from. Decision to know scriptures that deal with that issue. That's the place of knowledge. My people are destroyed for the lack of what? For the lack of knowledge, not because the demons there are powerful. My people. My people. Young girls with glorious destinies, but lack of responsibility have trashed that destiny. Hello? Hi. Now, if I want to deal with this issue, I know I have the weapon of the blood. I can use the blood to challenge that devil. And gather enough light that talks about knowledge, enough scriptures, and fire it along with the blood. The devil will have cancer by that. Hello? It's just so practical. I'm not here to uh, say grammar today, I'm just giving you how it works. You know, see, every child of God has the advantage of the blood. You have the advantage of what? It's meant for you, it's not meant for believers. One of the gifts that God gave to us as Christians is the ability to use the blood. It's a gift. And it's the highest gift you can have. I'm telling you. People have not discovered that. The Holy Ghost is a gift, yes. He has a judgmental seal. The Holy Ghost is powerful. But in terms of battle, ah, the blood does wonderful things. The blood of Jesus! And the devil will have cancer. Listen to this. A man was to travel and he has a farm. And he knows that if he travel, all this cow will come at night and destroy his plants. He now carry the blood jar. He said, this is the blood of Jesus. And let me tell you something. The blood of Jesus don't have to be red. Hello? It can be any color. But what makes it the blood is your faith. He said, you have to be red. You have to put ribena. No, 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 no. 
The body of Jesus don't have to be bread. It can be anything you are eating now. Huh? What makes anything work in this kingdom is the knowledge you have and the faith applied. Now, there can't be faith without knowledge. Without what? Knowledge. knowledge. There can't be faith without knowledge. That's why we're talking about light. Go for light. Go for light, sir. Now, this same man now carried the bucket and started sprinkling around the fence. He said, this is the blood of Jesus. No to all this cow. They will not enter here. The blood of Jesus. I drew the mark. I drew the mark. I drew the mark. They will not pass here. They will not pass here. He traveled three days. He came back. Three cows fed and died. At that same place, he drew the mark. They can't pass. Because an order has been given. I drew what? The mark. That is, you gather enough scriptures. Young ladies don't get married on time in this family. You gather scriptures, at least minimum three. But if you can gather seven, better. But the Bible says, out of the mouth or two or more, these things are established. You gather more, at least three. On, on time marriage. Or people don't prosper in this family. Oh, okay, let me share something with you. Every spells in a family, every trace in a family has their weapons. Has their what? Their weapons. weapons. For instance, if ladies are not getting married or people are dying and all that, there's a weapon for that. But there is one weapon that is a, univer is a universal weapon that deals with any case. And that weapon is the weapon of giving. Giving with light, oh, not just giving, scattering. No, 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 no. I've seen people that scatter, give, that still die young. Lord, I gave this thing to terminate death that is attacking me. The death will see you and run. Hello. I read this sacrifice for long life. The witch that can kill you before your time is not born. Now, let's take for instance, I want to deal with barrenness. Bar. Barrenness. I gather three scriptures. None shall be barren in the land. Children are heritage of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is his reward. Three of them. How many of them? Okay. I settled down just for three nights. How many nights? Three nights. Talk to how many nights? Three nights. I, I see, listen to this. I gather the scripture with the blood. <laughs> listen to. I'm not just releasing the scripture with my mouth. I'm releasing it with blood in my mouth. With what? By the blood of Jesus. The scripture said. The scripture what? <laughs> when blood and scripture meet, Satan will have colossal cancer. Satan will say, this one now, now, now something else. Blood and scripture. Igara sujana gabalai. When Satan came to meet Jesus, the only weapon Jesus used was the word. For it is what? Written because the blood was not available at that time. Because he needed his own blood. Hello? See, the force that hardened the heart of Pharaoh for, uh, to, uh, to hold the children of Israel hostage was Satan himself. He's called the God of Egypt. The gods of Egypt. You know devils that are in your family, they, they, they say you will not prosper. You just be a mere man. You need to use the weapon of the blood. Strike them out. In the name of Jesus, you devil from my father's house, get out here. Even when you are driving, sir, you are consciously praying it. Yes, sir. I challenge you, you forces in who we are. I will rise on top. You are not doing it once and stop. I do it every day. Now live battle. Now live what? As far as you are alive, you are fighting. You are fighting, sir. You just be, you just be prospering. Even some of your brother can't explain, sir. Yes. Because you have gotten this light, I'm sharing. The blood and the word. That there are some forces fighting you. You will need the combination of the blood and the word therapy. Am I talking to somebody here? You are not just quoting the word. You are sending the word with blood machine. 
Even in medicine, it's like that. There are some drugs. They will say, we need infusion of blood. Eh? Don't give this patient this until you try. check the blood gauge. Because once you, the blood gauge is not gauge, you give this thing, it will dry. The person can pass on. Then we need infusion of blood. Give him two pounds. And along, you know, as you're infusing the blood, inside the blood, there will be drugs inside. Am I right, nurse? Am I right? Is that the medical term? You put it, you know, the blood will be in the sack. You're not coming out of it. Same. Now, this one, you want to deal with stubborn devils. You are fast, you have done everything, nothing is happening. Carry the word. Word in scripture is like tablets. It's like what? Tablet. Put it in the blood, release it. It can't fail. It can what? Try it three days after this teaching. You will come and share testimony here. See, the kind of life God called us to live is the kind of life that you can write your check before he appears. Before what? I said, I want my first child to be a girl. A girl. And I want that to be fair, not dark. I wrote the prescription. I wrote the name. What was the name I was telling when we were in courtship? Rema. David, Daniel. I wrote that check. The last one I tear and said, No. Let's go with this three check. By war carapace, it can destroy any generation. See, generation account means it started one time. Am I right? But this word, he said, the, 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 the word is the lamb that was slain before the foundation of what? Before the foundation, the, the, Jesus has been slain before God created man. Before God created who? Man. You carry that blood. He said, this is the blood of Jesus. You carry it in three dimensional. Three. Three what? Dimension. You declare it with word. You sprinkle it. As you are sprinkling it, you are pleading the blood. You sprinkle yourself. When you are baiting, you say, I'm baiting with the blood of Jesus. Any force that will not allow me to get married, you are washing out. Any force that will not allow me to get a job, you are going off. I'm baiting with the blood of Jesus. I'm attractive. I'm favored. Hello? Hi. And then the last one, you not drink it. Carry it for three nights. Father, if they drink human blood, I'm drinking your blood. Anything in me that repels people from helping me, I flush them out. You just go to the toilet, you have to coo, coo, coo. You are flushing that devil out. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah. 